Hey guys, what's up? Today we're doing a really simple, really easy, basic acrylic tutorial with lemons. But first things first, you need to be relaxed and calm. Because when you're stressed, you don't enjoy what you're doing. And if you don't enjoy the art you're making, trust me, it's going to turn out horrible. So just enjoy what you're doing and let's go. To start off with a basic, simple pencil outline for your lemons. This will help you place your picture and plan it out. Your lemons do not need to be exactly where I place them. They can be anywhere you want them to be. In the corner, in the middle, it's up to you. Just don't make the lines too dark because the paint does need to go over them. Now going in with your darker shade of green, which you'll probably create by mixing your green with black. We can mix it with red as well because red is opposite green on the color wheel. But it's kind of complicated to do that at the moment. So I suggest just sticking to black. I'll teach you guys how to use red in a later video. So you now use this new shade of green that you've created all over the background excluding the lemons because we don't want to cover them up yet. And please feel free to pause this video at any given moment because if I'm going too fast or I'm speeding up too much, don't let that bother you. Just go with the flow, go at your own pace, nobody's pushing you. Enjoy the process. Me being the excessively impatient artist that I am, I have to use a hair dryer to make my paints dry because them drying on their own takes forever. So if anybody else out there is as impatient as me, use a hair dryer. It works wonders. Trust me. For our branches, we're going in with a really light brown and a really thin brush because we want these branches to be thin, or at least I do. You don't need to make thin branches, you can make thicker branches, it's totally up to you. But I'm going in with a thinner brush and light brown to give my painting a daintier feel. I'm not focusing on these branches too much right now, it's just to give me a general idea because these will overlap it. We'll touch this up later. Now for my leaves, I've created multiple different shades of green using three basic greens. I mix them with yellow to create a variety of shades which you'll need for your leaves. We want some dark shades, some medium shades and some light tones and tints. Because we want to create a feeling that there are leaves at the back, there are leaves in the middle and leaves in the front. So the dark ones will obviously go at the back with the darker paint, medium ones in the middle and lightest ones right on the top. We have to understand how to work in layers here because layering is important with almost any paint or any art supply that you use.
Now going on with lemon yellow, we're filling out and refining the shapes of the lemons we had drawn before. And the reason I said we don't want to fill up the lemons yet is because yellow is a very translucent color. So multiple layers are needed just to make that those side outlines go away. So I have to do layer upon layer upon layer. You have to enjoy watching me do a lot of layers. But in the end, I did manage to get a somewhat decent yellow looking thing. But still, we have to add more shades and more colors to get rid of that dark outer line. So try and keep your dark green paint out of your lemons as much as possible because lemon yellow is a very, very, very translucent color. Going with a lighter shade of orange, which is mixed in with yellow, we're going to create the shades and the darker side of the lemon. Dark side. Anyway, the three-dimensional feel of this lemon, with orange and even some yellow over. We need to create the depth in this picture by giving the correct shades and highlights. And also to get rid of that very, very annoying green line that just doesn't want to go away. Just go, I mean, go. You, you have permission to go on the green line, but no, obviously not. Using yellow and light green, add more highlights to the leaves that are already there to emphasize on the lightness and the light that is hitting the leaves because we want this picture to look realistic and we want to give that effect while keeping it simple. So just build up on those highlights. Adding some touch-ups to the branches as well, like I mentioned earlier, some dark, some lights, just redefining them so that they aren't lost among the jungle of leaves. Like my pens are always lost and I can never find them. But in this picture we can find the branches, don't worry.
said we are done. I hope you have fun, because I did, and I hope you learned something, tried out something new, and experimented a little, because that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Learn, experiment, try out new things. It doesn't matter if you fail as long as you've tried. Like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe.